Hey guys, Swift along with Daft and Manic here from Team Icarus. We recently tested Team Black Sheep's new crossfire long range system against Immersion RC's one. Our testing method, although a bit primitive in design, was effective. On the right, we have a Futaba 10J radio connected to a 600 milliwatt Easy UHF transmitter. On the left, we have a Turnigy 9X connected to the 500 milliwatt Crossfire transmitter. On the right in this picture is the Crossfire receiver. On the left is the Easy UHF receiver. Attached to both are servos with makeshift flags that will stand up if the receiver goes into failsafe mode. In order to see what the range is for both of these systems, we tested them by taking the receivers and walking away from the transmitters, or vice versa. We did this in Times Square, Grand Central Station, and on the Upper East Side. These areas all have different amounts of RF interference. We're in Grand Central and we're testing penetration on the on the crossfire and the easy HF. So in theory the easy HF should win this one because it's a lower frequency. And the crossfire flag is jumping around there because we use the zip tie instead of a proper servo horn. So it indicates fail safe when it goes all the way up. It's just skipping around there because it's flexing. We got an easy HF fail safe. His control is getting better. He's here to his fail safe thing. Shut it off. Shut off the crossfire. Yes, shut off the crossfire transfer. Yeah, it's in fail safe. Turn it back on. Ah, uh, there we go. Now we got a fail safe. Ten more feet. What are you doing, Justin? We're testing range. We we uh, we're discussing the projects that we made. We're testing the range. Uh, we're in the Grand Central because there's a lot of radio frequency noise. No, but yeah, if you want to in a video or like or something, in that um, actually, it's perfectly clean. Crossfire fail safe. That wasn't solid. Not solid. Knock up its. Crossfire is still under control. Easy HF is not. So, even with penetration, which the EZUHF in theory would be better with, the crossfire is just winning hands down. The Both transmitters are downstairs in Grand Central, still in the subway track, several floors down. A block and a half. And we're a block and a half away, outside of Grand Central, up two and a half flights of stairs, and the link was still performing much better on the crossfire than on the easy HF, which has been in fail state for the last block. So what I'm trying to say to y'all is the aliens are real. And keep an eye on your kids because aliens will take the kids. I know it sounds crazy, but that's why the government, the government don't want nobody to know what they got. Trust me, I'm not dumb. I know what I'm talking about.
We are in Times Square and we're just gonna walk down 7th Ave and see when we get fail safes. Ooh, we got crossfire for we got a fail safe on the easy jump. Yeah. One block away. What the fuck? We just went around a corner. Easy OHF is gone. Crossfire is not. I'm sure the crossfire is not. Can yeah. you move it around? Oh. Oop, fail safes. There we go. Um, hey guys, it's late at night here and we're wrapping up the Crossfire versus Easy UHF test video. We did three tests and it seems like Crossfire is the winner. Uh, that's it guys. Uh, thanks for watching and if you like the video, rate, comment, subscribe, like it, whatever. Um, see you next time.